So you've just been to a conference and you want to put all of those contacts from the list of people that you have met, business cards that you've gathered and add them to your Techmatics account. If you're not collecting business cards when you're at events, networking or conferences, you are missing out on business. So make sure that you are collecting those business cards up, stick them in a Google Sheet and then go to File and Download as a CSV. And this is going to give you a file that you can then upload all of your contacts straight into your Techmatics account. You can then put them into automations or send them follow-up emails, whatever it is that you do as part of your follow-up process. So I've downloaded the CSV file of this and now we're going to head into our Techmatics account and we are going to pop all of these people down as contacts in our system. So inside your contacts area, you're going to press import, which is this little upwards facing arrow here. In our upload section, we're going to press upload a file. And from there, choose the file that you want to upload. Press next. And this is now going to start sucking in all of the data. And the second thing we now need to do is map the file headers in our CSV file to the field that that is going to belong to inside Techmatics. So basically what it's doing is it's gonna, on this side here, bring up the columns in our file. So I had a first name column, which is the first name field inside Techmatics. The last name column needs to be the last name field in Techmatics. And so the email is gonna be the email. The phone is gonna be the phone number. The city is gonna be the city. The country is the country and the note is the note. So those are the columns that I had inside my system. System. We haven't mapped the organization field, so we're going to choose organization if we have one. Do we have organization? Uh, do we have company? Company name. There we go. All right. And we are then going to press next. We've mapped all our fields together. Uh, what's the name of the import? So this is the name of this is like basically the record that's going to show on the client's record as to how they actually got into your system in the first place. So for me, this was the Gold Coast networking event. Oopsie, event. And that was November 2023. And we want to create a list of contacts from the import. In the drop down area, there's a few other features that you can do here. I want to add new contacts and update existing contact records. That means if any of these people happen to already be in my system, they're not going to create duplicated records. Um, how are we going to check whether they are an already existing contact? It's going to be by email address. So basically, if the email address is already in the system, then it's not going to create a duplicated contact. And we want to not update any empty values. And then tags, I'm going to put here, um, I'm going to put the Gold Coast, I'm going to put contact from, contact from the Gold Coast Speed Networking event, November 2023. So now we have a tag there. I'm also going to tag them as the location. Um, so I'm going to put that down as a new tag as well. If I ever, for instance, I'm running another event in the Gold Coast, I want to filter my contact list by people who are based in the Gold Coast, right? Add new contacts to a workflow. So if we did have a campaign that we wanted to add them to, we could choose to do that here. Let's pretend I've created a special workflow called conference and event follow up. Right, I could just add them all to that, and everyone who um, who who's post event will go into that workflow. But I'm going to create a unique email just for this group here. I'm going to press submit, and now it's going to upload all of my contacts. There you go.